welcome today we will discuss how to trigger wave shape in the CRO or DSO now we will understand what is triggering suppose this is a wave shape and this is starting point in screen triggering means where we want to start here, here, here. Suppose there are three points, one, two, three. If we set the green point at one, then wave shape will start like this, from one. This line will be like this. At present, it is like one. If you want triggering at two, wave shape will be like this. If you want triggering at three, wave shape will start like this. This is triggering control. Now we will change and see. See, this dotted line is the triggering level. We will adjust this voltage. Suppose triggering voltage we adjust like this, it will trigger at 1. If we make triggering voltage this, it will trigger at 2 or 3. So now it is at 1. Now we will shift, see shifting, it has become like 2. This portion, before 2 is not visible. Then we will make like 3. See, now it has become like this, starting point. This is 3. We are changing using this trigger control. This is like 2. And again we will shift. This is like 1. Now this triggering voltage should be within range. If we go out of range, see the dotted line go behind for this. See it becomes unstable. It becomes like this. What happens if we cannot trigger, sometime we will start at 1, sometime 2, sometime 3. So it will be like this. See. So triggering level has to be within range. Now we have selected, you can select, you want to trigger channel 2 or channel 1. I have selected channel 2. Now we will trigger channel 1. What happens? In every scope we can select. In some scope it is some switch here. In my case it is digital. Now I will change channel source channel 2 to channel 1. Now you see this red line. This is trigger level. This is out of range so it is not stable. Now I will bring within range. See it has become stable. Because we are triggering channel 1 now. We have selected this is called source of triggering. Source of triggering can be channel 1 or channel 2. Earlier, when I was showing here, source of triggering was channel 2, now source of triggering is channel 1. See. Now if triggering level goes out of range, it will become unstable. So it has to be within range. So you can select the channel, you can select the label. Then uh, this is internal triggering using channel 1 or channel 2. Then there will be some function you can trigger using line frequency. Line frequency will be helpful if your circuit is synchronized with line frequency. Then you can get a stable wave shape. Then this is external triggering. So far we were using either channel 1 voltage or channel 2 voltage or reference for triggering. External triggering means this is another input. We give some signal here and trigger that. In that case, that signal will be in synchronization with these two. Otherwise, it will not be stable. Sometimes what happens here, lot of disturbance will be there. Lot of noise will be there then it will be difficult to trigger. That time we use external triggering. Or in many other complex applications, 
we use external triggering. Now you can trigger here, you can trigger here, you can trigger here also. Depending upon scope, it will have many functions, many methods, many point of triggering to bring wave shape in stable condition. Now we will close the discussion on the triggering of wave shape in CRO or DSO.